Hey, how's it going, everybody? Let's do the Bible study. And uh, if you're catching this one, Justin, yeah, I can't wait for Daniel 7, Daniel chapter 7 in real life. LOL. Not that I really think I'll make it that far, but it was an interesting, it was a fun joke. Um, and Josiah speak got Jeconias and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Okay. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begot Salathiel, and Salathiel begot Zorobabel. Zorobabel begot Abiud. Abiud begot Eliakim. El Eliakim begot Azer. Azer begot Sadok. Sadoc begot Akam, Akam begot. I just don't know. I see Eli in a U D. Eliud. Uh, Eliud begot Eliezer. Eliezer begot Mathan. Mathan begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David until the carry away unto Babylon are 14 generations, and from the carrying into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. So that's 42, right? Yeah. Three times 14 is the same as six times seven, so that's 42, which in Strong's Concordance, um, Jesus is... G, 24, 24, and what's in the middle of 24, 24? Well, 42. In the heart of the number is 42. And hey, that's my old football jersey number. Yay. My favorite number was 24 growing up. And I got the pictures to prove it. Me always wearing a 24 jersey when I was a kid. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Moving on to Daniel. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs, you know, of the Chaldeans and the astrologers, gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah, Shadrach, and to Mishael, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Bendigo. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. So you know he wasn't practicing astrology if he was working diligently on eating properly, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. So while Daniel was trained in the ways of the astrologers and the Chaldeans, I guarantee you he did not practice it personally. Now, God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, who hath appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the other children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. And of course, the Lord works that out. And we'll get into that tomorrow. You know how we're taught in the ways of the spinning ball earth, even though we don't practice it. We don't tell it to people. We don't believe it. We tell them we live on a, that the earth does not move and it's the sun and moon that are doing the moving. And um, right up above us, they are local lights under the firmament, same with the stars, and uh, which might be inside the firmament. It's hard to say, but they do seem to be like they are in liquid when you view them up close. Everything you see when NASA is computer generated by artificial intelligence. Anyway, um, so you can equate that to Daniel also, trained in the ways of the earth, but not a partaker of them. All right, love you all very much. Ask questions anytime. And thank you just for letting me know that you watched. I appreciate that. Love to hear from y'all if y'all watch.